Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson will show you how to clean up the join detail between the wall and the floor. So we will see how to go from this detail here on the left where you have a wall and a floor overlapping to this detail on the right where you have these two elements nicely joined and more importantly when you select the wall here you can see that the exterior plaster layer actually comes down to cover the side of this floor. That means when I'm outside looking at this, I don't see the floor edge, I only see the wall. We will see two different ways to do this, and depending on your situation, you will know which way to use after watching this video. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now, because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's get started from level 2. I will now go to this section over here. Let's double click to open it. And when I zoom into here, you see the same problem now, wall and floor overlapping. The easiest fix is this. Just go to the modify tab, click on join, select the floor, and then select the wall. That way you will join the two objects and their layers will sort themselves out and that gives you a nice little detail now. If I now select this floor, you can see that I actually drew it so that it ends here on purpose before it gets to the exterior plaster layer of the wall. That's why when I join this floor to this wall here, it cuts away a section of the wall, but that leaves the plaster layer intact. This is the easiest way to resolve element joint conditions in Revit. Whenever you see things overlapping, try to join them, and that actually can be all you have to do. Anyway, there'll be times where this method doesn't work. So when you get that, try this second method. Firstly, select this wall here. And instead of having it starting from this level, which is level ceiling, I should bring up its base so that it can start from this level instead, level 2. Let's change it from here by removing this base offset. Here we go. The next step is to bring down this plaster or script layer so that it can cover the edge of this floor. Simply go to edit type, make a duplicate type now because you may not want to do this for other walls of this same type. I will call this one custom for now. Next step, go to edit. And in here, if you don't see the wall in section, make sure you go to view. And from this drop down, select section. Maybe you are having this on floor plan. Make sure to change it now to section to begin. Next step, zoom to this base of this wall. And then select the layer corresponding to this material you want to extend. In our case, I can go through this list. And it appears now this is the right layer to select. Next step, once you have it selected, you go to modify and click here. I can now go into this section and I click on this little bottom line of this grid layer. As you can see there, it appears to me there's a lock there that I can now click to unlock. Here we go. And that's all you have to do here. We can now do OK a few times. Now, because we have this layer unlocked, when I have this wall selected, I can have here one main arrow to adjust the wall base offset. But there's now an additional arrow on the left there where I can just drag it to extend this layer down to where I need it, exactly here in this case. And there you have them. If you want to make sure those two lines are not as bold as they are now, you can also go ahead and join these two objects like we did with the other method. But now, because I have this layer separated, I can adjust it freely from the wall itself. If I want to have this as a cladding material, and I want to have it extended a bit down below like this to cover my curtain wall, I can do it as well. It's much more flexible than the first method of joining elements only. Alright, if you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we do tutorials like this every single week. For now, choose between these two methods and make that detailed drawing you're working on beautiful. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next lesson.